assalamu alaikum today we will learn about brakes especially about the shoe brakes brakes are of different types hydraulic brakes electric brakes and mechanical brakes we will discuss only mechanical brakes mechanical brakes are divided into radial brakes and axial brakes in radial brakes the braking force is along the radius of the wheel in axial brakes the braking force is along the axis of wheel our main topic is shoe brakes which lies under the category of radial brakes let me draw the single shoe brake This is RM force along the radius of wheel. It is normal reaction force on wheel responsible for the brake, so called braking force. Distance from center of the wheel to the point O is x. The distance from pivot point O to externally applied force P is L. If the wheel is rotating clockwise, then there would be a tangential force on the wheel Fp. Its direction is in the direction of the wheel rotation. The shaded area is contact between brake shoe and wheel. The angle of contact between brake and shoe is denoted by 2 theta. When we apply the force P on the lever, the shoe will come in contact with wheel and offer resistance which will ultimately cause the speed reduction. To find the braking torque, take the moment above point O. P into L is in clockwise direction and R into X is in counterclockwise direction. Let's say the perpendicular distance between point O and the FT force is A. FT into A moment is in clockwise direction. Ft is resistive force, so it is equal to the coefficient of the friction between wheel and shoe material into Rn, normal reaction force. Braking torque is equal to the Ft into R, radius of wheel. By substituting, Ft is equal to mu Rn in equation and simplifying, we have Now we have the value of Rn. So by this relation we find Pb. This is for the single shoe brake when the wheel is rotating clockwise. You can find the relation by yourself for anti-clockwise rotation. If 2 theta is less than 60 degree then we use this type of the brake. If it is greater than 60 degree then the normal force will be less at the outer edge of the shoe as compared at the center. To solve this problem, we use pivoted block brake in which the normal force is uniformly distributed. Everything is same, but the braking pad shape is changed. For such brakes, braking torque is 
Tb is equal to Ft into R, but Ft is equal to mu prime to Rn, and mu prime is equal to 4 mu sine theta over 2 theta plus sine 2 theta. Angle with trigonometric function is in degree, and without the trigonometric function is in radian. Distance A is between Ft and fixed point O. There are three cases of A. The A distance may be above the pivot point O, as it is in this case, or may be below the pivot point O, or Ft may be in the same line of pivot point O. If they are in the same line, then A will be zero. Let me show you how A will be below the pivot point O. The breaking torque formula will vary with the variation of A as Ft into A moment will change its direction. Let's solve a question regarding such breaks. Don't comment on my drawing. Now read the question and write the given data. Die of wheel is given. Angle of contact 2 theta is given. Externally applied force P is given. Mu coefficient of friction is given. We have to find breaking torque Tb. Some data is given in the figure x, l, a and the rotation of wheel is given in the figure. Keep in mind that the case we have studied earlier in this video is in which A is above the fixed point O. So moment will be in this direction. But in the given case A is below the point O. The moment will be in this direction. So the formula for the breaking torque will be changed. Second thing, contact angle is greater than 60. So we will use these formulae. Let's find out mu prime. It is in radian and it is in degree. Now find out Tb, but we don't have the value of Rn. So to find out, take moment about O.
Now we have the value of Ft substitute in the formula. So in this way we find out Pb which was asked in the question. Thanks for watching the video. You can comment your suggestions. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video.